Are you still using an old laptop or desktop? Here's how to turn it into a fast modern machine with FIDE OS, a powerful Chrome OS alternative that supports Android apps and dual boot with Windows. And no, you don't need a powerful PC to do this. First, open your browser and search for FIDE OS on Google. Click the official link FIDEOS.io. Once you're on the site, go to the top menu and click on FIDE OS and then select download. On the next page, click on FIDE OS for PC. Now here's where it gets important. FIDE OS offer different version based on your CPU. You'll see compatibility lists for various systems. Intel Legacy, 2nd to 5th Gen Core i Series, Intel Slim, Celeron and Pentium CPUs, Intel Modern, ROM 6th Gen Core up to the latest, and finally AMD Ryzen processors and Radeon GPUs, where you will find the list of supported AMD hardware. Since I'm using a Ryzen 8000G APU, I'll go with the AMD graphics version. Click it and then hit download. On the next page and the file will start downloading once the fide os setup file has finished downloading open your start menu and search for rufus if you haven't downloaded it you can download it we'll use rufus to create bootable usb from the fide os image it's fast and reliable select the fide os.bin file you downloaded and then click start Make sure your USB drive is at least 16 GB for this to work. Once the process completes, close Rufus. Now go back to the start menu and search for disk management. Choose create and format hard disk partitions. In disk management, I'm going to use my D drive, which is my second SSD. To confirm, I check the properties and verify it's the correct drive. Right click D and choose shrink volume. I'll set it to 29,000 MB to create a 29 GB partition. The rest of the space will stay untouched. Click shrink and once it's done, you'll see the unallocated space. Right click that space, select new simple volume, choose NTFS and perform a quick format. With our new partition ready, close disk management and restart the PC. On boot, press your system's boot key, usually F11 or F12, and choose the USB drive we created. FIDOS will start loading. You'll see the FIDOS logo followed by the setup screen. Choose your language and input method. Then click next. You can choose to install FIDE OS or try it first. We will click on install FIDE OS. Now you will see two installation options. Do not choose full disk installation. This will erase all data on your drive. Instead, choose multi-boot installation. Then click next. Now select the target partition where FIDE OS will be installed. I am selecting the 28.3 partition which is dev slash sda2 for the efi partition select your system's default windows efi partition in my case it's dev slash nvme under the boot method choose install and configure refi boot manager for me recommended this makes switching between fide os and windows much easier click install and the process will begin if this helped so far and you're into tutorials like this one, consider subscribing. After a few minutes, once the installation is complete, click shutdown. On the next boot, you'll see a boot manager screen with icons for Windows, Fide OS, and your USB drive. The Fide OS logo means exactly what it says. Choose that to boot Fide OS. After selecting Fide from the boot menu, you'll notice how super fast Fide OS starts up. It boots up in just a few seconds. Once you're in, you're great. You can log in using local account, a Fide OS account, or even your Google account, depending on your preference. On the desktop, you'll see a familiar start menu, taskbar, and system tray with a clean and modern interface. 
that looks and feels just like Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex. I'll open the quick settings panel from the bottom right. Here you can easily adjust volume, brightness and other system controls. Clicking on the gear icon takes you into the settings menu and as you can see the UI is smooth and responsive with fluid animations even on this Ryzen 8600G APU. Now let's enable the Android subsystem. Open the settings app, scroll to apps and click on Android settings. From here, launch the subsystem. It will boot into a clean, modern Android OS environment fully integrated into FIDE OS. With Android running, we'll now install the Google Play Store. Open the FIDE OS App Store and click on Configure G Apps to begin the setup. When you launch the G Apps configuration tool, you might see an error saying root FS verification is enabled. Don't worry, we just need to disable it. Go to FIDOS settings and enable developer options, then reboot your system. After logging back in, press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. In the terminal, type shell and press enter, then type sudo i. Hit enter. Now enter the command to disable rootfs verification. Make sure there are no typos or the command won't work. When prompted, press Y to reboot. Once you're back in FIDOS, open the GApps tool again from the start menu. This time it will successfully download and install Google Apps. You'll soon see the Google Play Store icon appear in the taskbar. And that's it, you're now ready to install your favorite apps and games. For example, we downloaded and played Hungry Shark and it ran perfectly. If this tutorial helped you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech guides. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.